Hi everyone, welcome back to Gedo. Today we will show you how to replace LCD screen on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus mobile phone. To start, we need to have the right tools to proceed with the repair which you can find in the description. First, take out the SIM tray and then the back cover removal. To remove the back cover, it needs to heat gently around the back cover just until the paste adhesive becomes soft. For this, we are using a heating pad. Place the back cover around the heating pad and select the mobile phone heating option and leave it till it completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or hair dryer. Once the heating has completed, use a suction cup to create an opening between the frame and back cover. Next, insert a plastic carpet tool or something similar to cut the adhesive around the back cover. Take out the back cover and then take out the board frame with the wireless coil by undoing 9 screws. And also unplug the battery connector. Next, move to the bottom and take out the bracket by undoing 7 screws. Next, take out the headphone jack by unplugging the connector. Next, on the top left, disconnect and take out the front camera from the board. Next, disconnect the LCD connector. Next, take out the logic board by undoing 3 screws. One on the top and two around the charger port. And then gently lift the board. Next, apply heat and take out the vibrator motor. Next, apply heat and take out the earpiece module. Next, take out the battery. First, apply heat to soften the glow on the battery. For this, we are using a heat gun. Once you feel the heating is enough, use a car pry tool to cut the adhesive under the battery. And once you have some space, use a pry tool to lift the battery.
Now the only remaining part is a broken front screen assembly with the frame and buttons. For the replacement there are few different screen types in the market. The most common is the original service pack screen which comes with the frame and buttons. There is another type, it is original but without the frame. But the repair job is a bit difficult and time consuming. And the price difference is not that big. And also there are refurbished and used screens with the frame and without. I would recommend you to go with the screen with the frame and button installed. It can be original, refurbished or used and this type is commonly available to purchase. Next, on the new screen frame, start placing remove parts. Next, move to the bottom and place the vibrator motor on the frame. Next, place the earpiece module. Next, place a logic board and secure 3 screws. Next, secure the LCD connector. Next, secure the headphone jack. Next, secure the front camera. Next, place the battery with adhesive. Next, place the bottom bracket by adding 7 screws. Next, insert the SIM tray and secure the battery connector. Next, place the board frame with the wireless coil by adding 9 screws. Next, before closing the device, it is good to verify the functionality by powering up the device. Next, before installing the main back cover, make sure it has enough glue on it. If not, use B7000 glue on your double sided back cover adhesive. Finally, we are adding binding to tie in the back cover with the body. If not, you can use some rubber bands and leave them for some time.
Hope you have enjoyed the replacement guide on Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus mobile phone. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button for more videos.